You guys asked for it, and today we're delivering it. We're going to take a look at my $35,000 Star Wars collection. May the 4th be with you. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Happy May the 4th. Today we're doing it guys, we are doing our official Star Wars collection tour and I think you guys are going to be pretty excited to see all the stuff that we have in our collection. Without further ado guys, we're going to jump right into it. Okay guys, so we're going to come right over here to some of my favorites. We got to start out with the Star Wars Freddy Funkos. Here is the 450 piece Freddy as Yoda from San Diego Comic-Con 2018. Up next, we have Freddy Funko as C-3PO, 520 piece limited edition from San Diego Comic-Con 2019. And then from San Diego Comic-Con 2017, we have the Poe Dameron X-Wing, Freddy Funko limited to only 200 pieces. But that is just half of the Star Wars Freddy Funko crew. If you guys come on up here, we have my other three big boys. We have Freddy Funko as Kylo Ren, 2016 San Diego Comic-Con, 400 pieces, but it gets better guys. Right here, we have Freddy Funko as the 501st Clone Trooper, and this guy was super hard to track down because he is from San Diego Comic-Con 2012, and he is limited to only 96 pieces. There's only 95 other one of these in the world. And then right here, guys, right next to the Clone Trooper, we have my personal favorite, Freddy Funko as Boba Fett from San Diego Comic-Con 2014, limited to 196 pieces. That is all the Star Wars Freddy Funkos they have made to date. I really hope we get some more. Maybe this year we get a Mandalorian. I don't know, but we're gonna continue with the tour. First off, I wanna give a big shout out to all the members of the Slapshot Pops Hall of Fame. These are all of our channel members and the wall is looking pretty good. If you guys wanna join, all you have to do is become a channel member and next live stream, we will get your name and choice of color up here on the wall so just want to say special shout out and thank you to all the Slapshot Pops Hall of Famers you guys are the best and thank you so much for supporting us all right let's continue with the tour now coming over here we actually have the closet full of suits for Funko Worldwide definitely a segment we are going to bring back at some point but just to give you guys uh, an idea of where they are stored those are all the suits and now we're doing it guys this has been a work in progress for a long long time and uh, we are so excited to finally unveil our collection room and the first stop is actually joanna's lounge fly collection check this out guys she has some beautiful bags here we have both of the soda coolers, Scooby-Doo and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And of course, Joanna is a Star Wars fan just like myself. She's got the Boba Fett bag, guys. Absolutely love that one. But we're going to continue on. Now, there is a lot of stuff here in our collection room. We have my entire DC collection. We have my Marvel collection. And then this is Joanna's Billy bookcase. And then we have my, <laughs> I say leftover, but it's just the, uh, the next part here of my Freddy Funko collection. We will get to those in another video. I want to give a shout out to Professor Josh. He actually got me this amazing Mandalorian tiki sign here for my birthday last year. Thank you so much, Professor Josh. If you guys are not following Professor Josh, make sure to go subscribe to him. And guys, we are actually massive Lego collectors. So if you think we're, if you think we're crazy about Funko, you guys have no idea. These are all of our Lego sets. Uh, we are currently in the process of setting up our Lego city and uh, we will get to more of that another day. Over here, to start out my Star Wars collection here, we have some of my, my Lego helmets, including my custom Jango Fett, custom clone Commander Cody, and of course, my man, Captain Rex. Well, here it is, guys. This is where I keep all of my Star Wars pops 
in these two Billy bookcases. And they're actually two pops deep. So I will show you guys each layer. And then up here, we got the brand new Star Wars Funko sodas. I have Boba Fett and the Chase. This is the metallic Chase Stormtrooper. I gotta get the comment to put right there, as well as Luke Skywalker missing his hand. That is the Chase. If you guys see up there, this is actually where we keep our Funko sodas. I think they look good out of can. I know everybody displays them differently. That's just how we like to display ours. But here we go, guys. Let's get into the tour. All right, so starting up here, top shelf, we have NYCC con sticker, Captain Rex. Love that pop. Then we have the Walgreens exclusive clone Commander Cody. So in case you guys haven't figured out, I like to keep all my, my clones and all my troopers somewhat together. And we have the Star Wars Celebration 2017 con sticker, 442nd clone trooper, where he's got the green on his armor. Love that one. Funko Shop exclusive Mud Trooper from the Han Solo movie. Another great one. EB Games Canada exclusive Purge Trooper. Now, this was actually a GameStop exclusive here in the States, but I love this pop, and I just happen to like the, the EB Games sticker a little bit more. So shout out to all the Canadian collectors. You guys are awesome. Then we have the Shadow Storm Trooper, which is actually Joanna's favorite trooper pop. GameStop exclusive once again. Very underrated pop. Okay, guys, are you ready to get into some of the big ones here? This is the first part of my Star Wars Blue Box collection. And uh, most of you guys do know that the ones with the bigger vinyl bobblehead lettering are, are worth just a little bit more. So here is Chewbacca. I actually got this one from Rock and Row. He pulled it from a mystery box, so shout out to Rock and Row. Underneath Chewbacca, we have the OG Han Solo. And guys, funny story, I actually picked this one up. You will not believe it. I can't believe it's PPG but I actually picked this one up for $25. And the reason I got it for $25, it does unfortunately have a little bit of a tear right there, but it's going for like $700 right now. So I'm not gonna complain. Then we have the Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper. Absolute beauty. This was a 1,000 piece limited edition exclusive from Emerald City Comic Con 2011. 2011. Then down here we have the Han Solo Stormtrooper. Gotta have Han to go with Luke. And uh, actually as a pair, it was not that hard to track these guys down. Uh, now they are, but uh, way back in 2014, 2015 when I got them, it was not that hard to track down. And once again, Han Solo as the Stormtrooper, he is also a 1000 piece limited edition. Next to Han, we have Luke Skywalker in his Jedi outfit here. Love that one. Original blue box. Then we have the vinyl bobblehead, big letter font, blue box, Gamorrean Guard. Next to Lando Calrissian, who is, of course, on top of Jar Jar Binks. And then we have a huge one, guys. This is the holographic Darth Vader. Of course, it does glow in the dark. Dallas Comic-Con exclusive. Do not get fake, uh, fooled. There are a lot of fakes of these on the market, and we actually did a real versus fake breakdown on this specific pop. So if you guys are worried about having a fake one, make sure to go check out our other video. Then on top of him, guys, we have one of my favorites of all time. I got this one for my birthday for myself back in 2018. This is the 2012 San Diego Comic-Con 501st Clone Trooper, which is limited to only 480 pieces. Next to the 501st, we have the Shock Trooper, Star Wars Celebration official con sticker from 2015, another beauty. And then we have the Unmasked Princess Leia, 1,008 pieces from San Diego Comic-Con 2015. I do not ever get tired at looking at that shelf. That is a lot of hard work and dedication and uh, yeah, just love those blue box pops. Not to be outdone, guys, we have a lot of fire that we still need to talk about and show off to you guys. Starting with the 2000 piece New York Comic Con Gwagon Jin, Liam Neeson's character from Star Wars, of course, episode one, The Phantom Menace. And then down here, we have the holographic Gwagon Jin, glow in the dark, 
This one was exclusive to Star Wars Celebration 2017. And guys, stay tuned till the end of the video because somebody's gonna be winning one of those very soon from us. Then we have the Walgreens exclusive hooded Obi-Wan Kenobi. We all know Obi-Wan is getting his show at the end of the month and that pop has exploded in value. We also have the Star Wars Celebration official con sticker, hooded Luke Skywalker, another beautiful pop. Here we have the Hot Topic exclusive Rebels Ahsoka with her double clear crossed lightsabers. Love those. And then right up, up above Ahsoka, we have Ahsoka once again. But this is the holographic version of Ahsoka, which was a LA Comic Con exclusive from 2016. Also part of the Rebels line. Another great pop. Right here we have our first Chase, the Bo-Katan Unmasked Chase. Very great pop. Underneath Bo-Katan, we have another Ahsoka. I love this one. She's hooded, Amazon exclusive. I love the hooded uh, Jedi, or, you know, obviously Ahsoka's not a Jedi, but hooded, uh, you know, Force users with their pops. I just think it's awesome. Then right here, we have another Obi-Wan Kenobi. This one was exclusive to the Smuggler's Bounty Boxes, which rumor is they're supposed to be bringing those back. I would absolutely love it if they did. That one, once again, has exploded in value. Up uh, on top here of Obi-Wan, we have the Walgreens exclusive Mace Windu, the only Mace Windu pop that they have ever made. And I think Mace deserves another pop. Come on, Samuel L. Jackson. Next to Mace, we have the con sticker Han Solo with the bowcaster from San Diego Comic-Con 2016. I love Han Solo. Harrison Ford is the man. And then underneath Han Solo here, we have the holographic Kylo Ren. So I got a little... Uh, father-son action going here target exclusive now this one was exclusive to target it came in the t-shirt bundle and uh, the glow on that one is really awesome and i think the value once again severely underrated on that one and then coming on down to the next shelf we actually have some of my favorite out of box pops of course, I have all their boxes, but I think some of these just deserve to be out of box. So here is Luke Skywalker in his Red 5 X-Wing. Followed up, flying behind Luke here, we have Poe Dameron in his X-Wing. Then, of course, I have the best Star Wars pop that I think definitely needs to be displayed out of box. You have the Mandalorian from Season 1 and the Child. Just a classic TV moment, movie moment, whatever you want to call it. Every Star Wars collector Every Star Wars Funko Pop collector, in my opinion, should have this pop. Behind the Mandalorian moment here, we have the Biker Scout Trooper on his speeder bike. I just think that's a great one. And then we have Han Solo on the Tauntaun. Another awesome one. And then right here, one of my personal favorites. This is Boba Fett in his Slave One, exclusive to New York Comic Con 2017. Another pop that's been shooting up in value. And uh, I just love how it's a pop ride and it doesn't take up much room, and it's such a classic character. I love Boba Fett. You guys are gonna see how many Boba Fett pops I have. I have a majority of them. And then coming on down to the next shelf, guys, this is where I have a majority of the villains from the Star Wars universe. So we're gonna start over here with the Sith Jet Trooper, which was a 2020 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Shout out to Teresa. One of our biggest supporters and patrons. I actually got this pop from her, and uh, that is how we started our friendship. And uh, it's just been awesome. So I still have that pop, and I absolutely love it. So thank you, Teresa. And then on top of the Sith Jet Trooper, we have to show off. This is a big one, guys. This is the San Diego Comic-Con limited edition debut of the Sith Trooper. And uh, that one is shocking. In, in value of how much it is from 2019 freaking crazy then we have the walgreens exclusive this is the original general grievous once again a heavily faked pop we actually did a full breakdown once again on the channel that was our first one that was the first real versus fake video that we did um, if you guys are ever worried about grabbing a general grievous pop make sure you watch that video but on top of the old school General Grievous, we have, in my opinion, the better one, the General Grievous with the four lightsabers. And I think that updated mold is just much better. Okay, next to the General Grievouses, General Grievouses, yeah, <laughs> whatever the plural is for General Grievous, uh, we have the 2500 piece blue chrome Darth Vader from San Diego Comic-Con 
2019. Also from San Diego Comic-Con 2019, we have the hooded Darth Maul. I was talking about those hooded pops. Absolutely love the hooded pops, guys. Then we have Grand Admiral Thrawn Star Wars Celebration 2017. I actually do not have the con sticker for that one. Um, that one has just exploded in value. As we know, J Grand Admiral Thrawn will be coming to the Star Wars Disney Plus universe at some point. And then on top of Grand Admiral Thrawn, we have the New York Comic Con Target exclusive Futura Darth Vader. Next to him, we have Cad Bane with Toto 360 New York Comic Con exclusive and Festival of Fun 2021 exclusive. So a bunch of stickers on there. Stickers are always fun. Underneath the updated Cad Bane, we have the original Cad Bane, San Diego Comic-Con 2018 exclusive. That one has also skyrocketed in value for reasons that most of you guys probably know. Then we have Darth Revan, GameStop exclusive, great character. And then on top of him, we have another one that's been going up because we're going to be seeing the Inquisitors in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. This is the Walmart exclusive Rebels Inquisitor. Coming on down here to the final shelf in the first bookcase, we have Boba Fett and Fennec Shan. And Boba's on the throne there with Fennec sitting right there. Love that pop. Okay, and then we have one of the best five packs ever made, in my opinion. This is the Bad Batch five pack, which was a GameStop exclusive. They are all unmasked. If you guys have not seen Bad Batch season one, go watch it because season two is coming out this summer and it's going to be insane. Then we have Omega from the Bad Batch, only Omega pop that they've made so far. The Smuggler's Bounty exclusive, older Captain Rex, still a great one. If you don't have the other Captain Rex, that one's the one to get. And then we have Luke Skywalker holding baby Grogu. Absolutely amazing. So that is just the first layer of the first shelf, guys. Okay, guys, so starting back off at the top, this is the second layer now I've pulled all the pops that were behind the first layer up to the front so you guys can see them. We have the Glow in the Dark Star Wars Gaming Greats EB Games exclusive Boss and uh, just a great pop, another underrated one. We have the New York Comic Con exclusive Sand Trooper, another great one. This one came from a really good friend of mine, so thank you so much again. This is a custom limited glow chase incinerator stormtrooper, so it's a real pop, and then he just would put some glow paint on there and uh, the glow is just insane. So I wish Funko would actually make a real chase of that one. Then we have Wrecker from the Bad Batch with his mask on, great one. The Chase, Iden Versio, where she actually has her helmet on there. And then we have the Scarif Stormtrooper, which we saw in one of the best Star Wars movies ever made, Rogue One. Then coming on down to the second level here, these are all the blue box pops that live behind the first layer. But there's still some amazing ones. Starting off with Obi-Wan Kenobi, the original blue box exclusive, or not exclusive, blue box release. And uh, that one should probably be brought to the front, especially right now with everything going on. We have the 2015 Star Wars Celebration exclusive E3PO. And uh, the silver chrome E3PO goes great right next to the gold chrome C3PO, which was exclusive in the same year to San Diego Comic-Con. Then up here we have Slave Leia in the blue box. This is the original clone trooper. If I could army build with one pop, I would love to do it with this one, but he is a little pricey to, to grab multiples of. Then we have Luke Skywalker in the X-Wing pilot suit and uh, very underrated pop. I think I talked about this one in one of my recent Star Wars Funko Pops You Should Buy videos actually can't believe how inexpensive that is, especially for the big lettered font right there. Then we have the Flocked Wicket, which was a Fugitive Toys exclusive. I can't remember whose mystery box I pulled it from, but I actually did pull it from a mystery box, and that was pretty legendary. Then we have El Emperor Palpatine, and this one he actually has the white pale face. There's another one with a different color face. Uh, they're both about the same value. Then we have Bosk, original blue box. The Star Wars Celebration Unmasked Darth Vader. That one will probably be going up. Then we have Queen Amidala. And on top of Queen Amidala, we have the Tusken Raider, which, guys, I, of all the blue box pops, this one was the toughest to find in mint condition. I had to pay quite a bit. 
Um, but definitely worth it, especially after seeing the Tuscan Raiders in the book of Boba Fett. And then coming on down to the next shelf here, we got some more great ones. Starting with the Amazon exclusive Tatooine Gwagon Jin in the little bit of an action pose, like he's getting ready to battle. Love it. Then we have the Celebration exclusive Princess Leia from Hoth right next to Padme Amidala, the Gen Geonosis version from Emerald City Comic Con 2018. That one is also in exploded in value. Then we have one that's not worth very much, but it is one of the cutest Star Wars pops they have ever made. Young Jin Erso from Rogue One. And guys, check that out. She's holding a tiny little Stormtrooper doll. I mean, come on. I think her value is like 10 bucks. That's a sin because of how good Rogue One was. Rogue One pops do not get a lot of love. Right here we have Han Solo with the blaster. Star Wars Celebration exclusive 2017. Love Han. Then we have Cal Kestis and BD-1. Only Cal Kestis pop they've made so far. Freaking awesome. Then we have the Masked Sabine. We're going to get into some of my Rebels pops here, or at least some more of my Rebels pops. I love her helmet. Freaking awesome. And then, of course, on top of the Masked Sabine, we have the Unmasked Sabine. If you guys need any more of these Rebels pops, don't sleep on them. Ezra here, he's been, he's been shooting up in value. We know we're going to see him very soon. Then we have the Disguised Chopper, Star Wars Celebration exclusive from 2017, next to Kanan which has also exploded in price. And then we have Hera, which I'm hopefully, well, we're gonna see her again in the Bad Batch season two. That would be awesome. So there's all the out of box Star Wars pops once again. And then coming on down to another shelf filled with more troopers and some droids. We have the San Diego Comic-Con con ex sticker exclusive Imperial Patrol Trooper. On top of the range trooper, I love all the troopers. I have, I think, almost every single one. The only one I don't have is the, um, I'll remember in a minute. Here's FN2199. Then we have the combat assault tank trooper, San Diego Comic-Con 2017 from Rogue One. That might be the most expensive pop from Rogue One. Then, is the, then we have the First Order Executioner, another great one on top of the WonderCon Gold Stormtrooper from 2021, last year's WonderCon. Then we have a pair of Death Troopers. This is the Imperial Death Trooper on top of another Death Trooper, but he is the sniper version and he was a Smuggler's Bounty Box exclusive. Another Smuggler's Bounty Box exclusive, we have the Jabba's Skiff version of R2-D2 on top of the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back target exclusive R2-D2. Then we have the Imperial Super Commando from last year's Funcon on top of, once again, oh, we got like a triple threat here of Smuggler's Bounty exclusives, the Unshirted um, Darth Maul. And uh, you can actually see his, his robot legs in there, which is pretty cool. Then coming on down here, we have some more great ones, starting off with the Chalice Collectibles exclusive of all places. Chalice got the Darth Maul, and he's got his lightsaber, as well as the dark saber. Then we have the Walgreens exclusive Snow Trooper, the NYCC 2015 TIE Fighter Pilot. Love that one. Next to the Dark Trooper, which we saw them in The Mandalorian Season 2. And then next to the Dark Trooper, we have the 2,500-piece Blue Chrome Yoda. And then right here, I have a pair of the 40th anniversary Amazon exclusive deluxe pops. I actually need to finish this set. I thought I had this whole set, but I need to finish it. We have the flocked Chewbacca where he's all snowy and then Han Solo. Han Solo holding the lightsaber with the Tauntaun laying down in front of him. Freaking awesome. All right, guys, now it's time to go to the next shelf. So this shelf, guys, is where I have a majority of my Boba Fett and Mandalorian pops, starting off with the Jetpack Smuggler's Bounty exclusive Boba Fett. This is hands down my favorite Boba Fett pop. I love it. And then right next to him, we have the brand new die cast Boba Fett, hoping to uh, get the chase. I ordered a few more from the Funko shop, so we'll see. 
And then we have the blue chrome Star Wars Celebration 2500 piece Boba Fett. Coming on down to the next shelf, guys. We got some serious fire right here. Serious fire. Starting off with the droids Boba Fett from San Diego Comic Con 2013. Limited to only 480 pieces. That one's been skyrocketing in value. And then we have the 1,000 piece Boba Fett from San Diego Comic, or excuse me, New York Comic Con 2020. This one actually came with the Slave One bag, and Funko gave us pretty much no notice on that one. Next to him, we have, of course, his dad, Django Fett. Love this one because this is the one where he's in his jetpack, a little bit of an action pose where he's flying, I love it. And then we have the Boba, Boba Fett prototype, Walgreens exclusive. And uh, this goes perfect with the new Soda Chase that just came out. And then we have the New York Comic Con Boba Fett in his Tuscan Raider outfit here. Amazing pop, but the crown jewel of this shelf is the signed Fennec Shand by Ming Nang Wen. And it says, it's okay to break the rules sometimes. Got that in a pop armor. And uh, shout out to Joey. He gifted me this. And uh, I still can't believe it. I walk by it every now and then. And uh, I just can't believe that it's here in my collection. So I'm truly humbled by some of the amazing people in this community. And coming on down to the next shelf, it's time to talk about Din Djarin himself, the Mandalorian. This is the D23 2019 pre-release Mandalorian on top of the Action Pose NYCC Con Sticker 2019 Mandalorian. Love that one. Then we have one of my personal favorites. We have Paz Vizsla, the Heavy Infantry, Heavy Infantry, excuse me, Mandalorian, played by Jon Favreau himself. In between him and Din, we have the Death Watch Mandalorian. This is one, the one with two stripes. The one with no stripes is floating around here somewhere. And we have one of the best two packs, at least for Star Wars, that Funko has ever made. The Mandalorian and IG-11 Barnes & Noble exclusive. Got that big, ugly green sticker on there. But such a great two pack. Love that one. We actually found that one. So shout out to Rita, Joanna's older sister. She found that one at Barnes & Noble for me, and I was beyond excited. And then on this shelf, there's only one pop. He takes up the entire shelf. And I cannot believe we're getting another Millennium Falcon. It's going to have Lando Calrissian. They just revealed the pictures this morning. Here is Han Solo and the Millennium Falcon. I mean, the box for this one is just so big and obnoxious. So you have to display it out of box. You have to. Plus, it's the Millennium Falcon. And then down here on this shelf, we have the Force Ghost 3-pack. The glow on these guys is insane. Amazon exclusive. If you don't have one of these in your collection, get it now. I don't know what you're waiting on. Right next to them, we have my Chewbacca in the ATSD. This was a Hot Topic exclusive. And once again, another pop that I think deserves to be out of box. So, And then this one, this is a three pack that I think is extremely undervalued. You got Tarful, the unhooded emperor right there. He's all angry. He's letting out some of his force lightning. And then this clone trooper, you can only get this clone trooper in the three pack. It's a Walmart exclusive. You cannot buy that one separately. So if you need that clone trooper to complete your trooper collection, you got to get that three pack. And then down here on the last shelf, we have Boba Fett gets his bounty where we have Han Solo in pop form, by the way, in the Carbonite. Such a great pop, such a great moment. And then guys, check this out. We have the Smuggler's Bounty exclusive duel on Mustafar. And uh, we got Obi-Wan Kenobi fighting Anakin Skywalker as he's turning towards the dark side. And then next to them, we have the green chrome 2019 con sticker, Boba Fett. So that is layer number one. So now it's time for me to pull all these pops out and show you what's behind them. All right, so this is the final layer of my Star Wars pop collection. I know this is a longer video, but hopefully you guys are enjoying seeing 
all of our collection here. It took a lot of work to get this room to where we wanted it to be. But anyway, here is the next Boba Fett. This one does have a special edition sticker on it, but it's actually the uh, bait exclusive Boba Fett that came out end of last year. Then we have the animated series Boba Fett, which was a Funko, if I can grab it here, Funko Insider Club exclusive, another great one, next to the Red WonderCon exclusive Boba Fett, another great one. Okay, so coming on down here, we have a mix of some stuff. We have the Mandalorian with his jetpack and the child, which we actually saw in the Mandalorian season two, on top of the black Boba Fett, I love this one. And he's, of course, he's got the red Mythosaur right there on his helmet. This was an Emerald City Comic Con 2019 exclusive. That one is with the con sticker. Next to the Super Commando Mandalorian, or Super Commando Mando, like Joanna likes to refer to him as. And uh, that was a Funko Shop exclusive. And on top of Super Commando Mando, we have the brand new Boba Fett. Tamara Morrison's epic return to the Star Wars universe. Then, then we have the Death Watch Mandalorian. Here he is with no stripes, GameStop exclusive. And then we have another cool one from uh, Teresa once again. So shout out to Teresa. She really helped me out with my Star Wars collection. This is the only graded Funko Pop that I actually have in my collection coming in at an 8.5. This is the Shock Trooper once again. And this one has the shared 2015 exclusive sticker. Next shelf, we have Mandalorian, the flame throwing version from Target. Great one. On top of the full chrome special edition exclusive Mandalorian. I love this one. Um, I was lucky enough to get one of the ones in his full body armor. There was some controversy when that one came out. Some people only got the helmet. Some people got the full body. The full body is worth a little bit more, but nonetheless, both are cool. Then we have the Covert Mandalorian, and this is the first Bo-Katan that they came out with. Still a great pop. IG-11 with the child. I just love how some of these pops, in case you guys have noticed, I don't have any child-only pops in my collection, but I like having pops where somebody's holding the child. It's almost like size accurate. And this one came with the t-shirt bundle, and the t-shirt is phenomenal. On top of, or below IG-11 here, we have Cara Dune. Coming on down, of course, we have Han Solo once again, and then we have Ahsoka. Of course, these are from the Clone Wars line on top of Anakin. I thought that was appropriate since Ahsoka was his Padawan. Right next to Obi-Wan Kenobi. I love that one. Such a great one. Look at that beard. On top of Obi-Wan, we have the blue box R2-D2 next to Jedi Knight Revan. So if you guys recall, we had... Darth Revan, this is Jedi Knight Revan, on top of M5R3, which was a Target exclusive. Joanna loves the droids, so I try to pick up all the droids. And then guys, we have a very unique item that we're ending off with. So you guys know, or at least you know now, seeing the beginning of the video that we love Lego. Well, this is a Lego and Funko crossover. So when I found out about this, I had to get it for my collection. Um, I This is sealed because I don't plan on playing the game ever. But look at this, guys. You get an exclusive Django Fett Funko Pop inside this Lego game bundle. And um, yeah, it's just super cool. This is the only... The only way you could get this Django Fett, I have seen some people open this and then make custom boxes for Django Fett, but I think it looks great just in there. And uh, I hope Lego and Funko do more crossovers like that because, I mean, as I showed you guys in the beginning of the video, uh, we are super just huge a like they like to call themselves, adult fans of Lego. And um, yeah, so we, we would love to see more crossovers. But anyway, guys, we're gonna go back to the studio. I'm sure you guys will wanna see this another day. So we will, of course, make more collection videos, but uh, let's go back to the studio. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed our full Star Wars collection tour. Uh, we did have a lot of fun getting that together. Obviously, we moved last summer, so getting all of our collectibles out of the buckets um, you know, on the shelves the way we want it took a lot of work and energy, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we have some big announcements. 
So today is May the 4th, and tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, we are actually doing a Star Wars only exclusive live auction on the WhatNot app. If you don't have the WhatNot app, the link to download it is in the descriptions below, and uh, you can actually get $10 off your first purchase with our link, so definitely take advantage of that. But guys, for all you hardcore Star Wars fans, if you come out to our auction tonight, you have to be live on the app with us tonight. You have a shot at winning two amazing giveaways. So the first item that we're going to be giving away is a holographic Gwagon Jin. You guys saw I had one of them in my collection. Well, we're actually giving one away tonight from Star Wars Celebration 2017. And uh, guys, there's a lot of rumors floating around. We could see holographic Gwagon Jin, Liam Neeson, show up in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Obi-Wan might, might be in trouble and he might need some guidance from his... From his master. So, the other item that we're going to be giving away, guys, is a sealed, brand new, hot off the truck, Boba Fett Funko Soda. There could be a white prototype Boba Fett Chase in here. I would love to see that. And uh, if the winner wants us to rip it live, we will rip it live. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are as big as a Star Wars fan as me, definitely smash that subscribe button. Even if you're not as big of a Star Wars fan as us, still smash that subscribe button because we have a lot of Star Wars stuff that we are going to be talking about here on the channel in 2022. Last year for May the 4th, we dropped our 10 most expensive Star Wars pops in our collection, and I will link that video above in case you guys want to go see that. But uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed our full collection tour of today's video, and we really hope you guys come out to our featured Star Wars auction on the WhatNot app at 7 p.m. Eastern. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for all the support. Make sure you smash that like button. May the 4th be with you, and as always, don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you all tonight.